There was plenty of riding, roping, and wrestling out at the Georgia National Fairgrounds and Agri Center in Perry recently as it played host to the 23rd annual Georgia National Rodeo. While there was plenty of fun to go around for the crowd, well, the Cowboys, they were all business. Damon Jones takes us there in this report. Whether it's competition, tricks, or even a few laughs you're looking for, the Georgia State Rodeo provided a little bit of everything. That's why thousands of fans, young and old, made a trip to the Perry National Fairgrounds for this unique three-day event. You bring the whole family, from the little kids to grandma and grandpa, you're going to like it. And that's the kind of live entertainment that we like. You can't script it, you can't record it, it is what it is, and each performance is different. So there's uh, two and a half hours of entertainment for people to enjoy and to love. You get a cheer, you get a holler, you get to be rowdy, you don't get in trouble. However, it's not all just fun and games for the contestants, as cowboys from all over the country compete not only for pride, but most importantly, the prize money. I'll tell you what, uh, for me, the emotions uh, have subsided. It's more of a, a focus. I, uh, I'm here to do a job, I'm here to win, and, uh, you know, and do the best that I can. So I'm, I, you know, it, it's a matter of focus and uh, uh, control for me. And the contestants that compete here, they're not guaranteed a penny. They pay their entry fees to get here, to enter, their own expenses to get here. What they're lucky enough to win is all they get to go home with. And while winning is very important for these competitors, that doesn't mean they're rooting for their competition to fail. In fact, just the opposite is true. Well, this is for money. This is not for funsies. This is, this is the chips are down and we're here to win. So uh, yeah, it's absolutely 100% competitive. But the funny thing about Cowboys, uh, you know, we're here to win and we're here to do the best of our ability, but we're also here to be good people and to help uh, our fellow competitors do their best that they can do. Uh, so it's a, it, it's a good camaraderie as well. It's the kind of solidarity that's built only through respect, as each rider knows just how much hard work goes into perfecting the craft. Oh, there's a lot. I mean, I got to work out a lot, practice a lot. I'm going to school up in California right now, and I, I get on practice horses every week. Well, at least every other day, and then I work out every day, and it's a lot of work. And it's not just time these Cowboys are sacrificing for the sport, but also their body, as more than 70 events a year has a way of catching up with you. In the last two years, I've had three broken legs, two broken jaws, eight broken ribs, a lacerated spleen, a, uh, a punctured lung, um, several stitches. Uh, right now I'm battling a wrist injury. So while it might be easier to catalog what hasn't been injured, that still won't keep these guys from jumping back on the horse as they look for their next great adrenaline rush. And, and rodeo is a great sport. There's none other like it. And like you say, uh, yeah, it's gotten to the point for me, it's control and uh, aggression and uh, uh, the competitive spirit. But yeah, there is a lot of adrenaline involved too when you're getting on a 2,000 pound animal that's uh, gonna chase you when you get off and possibly really hurt you bad. It's also a one-of-a-kind experience for the fans as they get a first-hand look into the past at the way America once was. I mean, people can see car races and tractor pulls and motors and things like that. That's wonderful. That's fun. You can build those. But here, it's back the way the West was won, the way that America was settled. And it's not man against animal. It's man with animal. When the country was tamed, it was the man and his horse. And that's what this is all about. You can work hard all week and go out on the weekend and enjoy life. Uh, you don't have to get out of control, you don't have to break the law, you just have fun. And realize that other people like Western atmosphere, other people like agriculture. You know, agriculture is still the backbone of America. It's great to have all those industries, we need all that too, don't get me wrong, but we're just proud to keep American history going forward. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Damon Jones.